Hi and welcome back to Spoods and Stuff. Uh, today we have a guest with us. We have Jennifer from Jennifer's Tarantulas. Say hello. Hello. Uh, today we're going to be rehousing my Pokey, the Fasciata. Um, we've got a nice new enclosure for her, nice setup. So uh, hope you like the video and we'll see you at the end. Go on and tell the ladies and gentlemen what you're doing. Uh, I'm just going to start setting up the Pokey enclosure. And as it's bioactive, we need a drainage layer in the bottom of the bottom of the enclosure. Don't need it really, really thick. Just so what are you using? Um, clay balls. Okay. That's about as much as I know of them. They're <laughs> little balls made of clay, clay, and they soak up any excess water from the substrate. That's how they're supposed to work. Okay. What are you doing next? Uh, cutting up a piece of sort of fine mesh cloth why why because you need this to sit on top of the drainage layer before you put the substrate in so that the substrate doesn't just fall straight through the clay balls okay and this separates the two of them okay that i've just been given <laughs> if you actually put the enclosure on top of the piece of mesh and cut around it you'll have something round about the right size what can i say pure genius yeah, well, one of us has got to be. Oh my God, how caggy under to you? <laughs> I'm trying to... Look. I'm not... My my cutting would have been perfectly straight had you not come up with this sudden brainwave <laughs> and bullied me into doing it. I would just shut up and cut. <laughs> well, this isn't exactly thrilling stuff, you know. Drainage layer in. Now we're going to put substrate in which all I use is peat moss the concentration well you know uh, the enclosure come from arachnophilia who's another youtuber mm -hmm. and he actually designs and builds these enclosures himself and I got this one at the Birmingham entomological show and if you actually need a good quality Perspex arboreal enclosure, check out his channel and message him. He'll be happy to sell you an enclosure. They are pretty cool, actually. And the ventilation is pretty sweet. Oh, spot on. Plenty of ventilation on the sides and on the lid as well. So perfect for, for any arboreal. Just testing the placement for a couple of bits. The cork bark and the little stone that it's leaning up on. And whose genius idea was that? That was your genius idea, I have to admit. Although I am stealing it. <laughs> oh, go. All right, okay. After unsuccessfully just trying to glue <coughs> my hand, I'm now going to attempt to glue the cork bark to the little ornament. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> As you can probably tell, glue guns aren't my forte. And, oh crap. <laughs> what? Stick. So I'm just trying to hold it together. So it pretty much. Okay. A strand of snot. Ew. Blue. <laughs> right, just going to start planting a few of the different bits and pieces we've got. Just try and find the right. What plant is it? I don't know. It's a leafy, ferny thing. <laughs> it's a green thing. It's a green plant Come with on. brown bits on the bottom. Come on and plant the green thing. This is normally where I end up doing a lot of swearing because I keep pulling them out as I'm trying to plant. I'm trying to knock the cork bark off of the stone actually and unlock yeah. the glue. That's going to happen, you know it is. Are you going to put where you position them all along the back? Um, no. Okay. I don't actually, I might put one in front of that, like there. Really? <laughs> it's your enclosure! <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> okay. I would personally put one there. Yeah, but then it's not going to grow properly because you've got the cork bark in that corner. It still grow down. 
the substrate at the bottom? Yeah. I suppose so. I'll ship up at your thing. Yeah, see that's... I only make like the single strand. Yeah, <laughs> I've recorded this, you know. It's going to be a nice long video, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God, I'm editing this. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh shit! Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Fuck you. Plant number two. Which plant is what's this one? A purple one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I never actually look at the names for them. I just think, oh, that's pretty, and buy it. So this is not going to be a very helpful video at all, then. <laughs> um, no, no. As far as actually telling you what plants I use, I haven't got a clue because I don't know myself. Okay, go on. Then. No, no, the other side. I don't know, because I was going to put that on the other side. Yeah, but then you're going to block the entrance. Yeah. No, you're not. It's fine. Pass you on. <laughs> Actually, ah ha 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 ha. Yes, 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 yes. Was I right? Shush. You might, <laughs> you might wait. Oh, okay. We're going to put more of the green ferny thing into the back just to bulk it up a little bit right in different what made you decide to go and do bioactive enclosures rather than plastic tat i like plants i like i, I mean i don't actually know a great deal about them but i like plants i like the way real plants look and i think i mean i don't know about tarantulas but i think all animals benefit from having real plants in their enclosures because of the Oxygen they give off and... Okay. I like plastic data. Okay, what's right. the master plan? Um, there is no master plan. It's basically panic and scream <laughs> like a little girl and hope that this goes well without ending up with me in hospital. So what are you going to do? You're taking the cork bark out and putting... I'm going to lift... As the pokey is inside the cork bark, I'm going to attempt... Bring, to the, lift. Ca bring the catch cup closer to you. I'm going to attempt to lift the whole cork bark up and look at that webbing though and there is the girl down that facing the wrong way because she's facing us <laughs> not <laughs> good hello hello no you've got your brushes bugger they're there no 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 what water dish we can do the water dish afterwards just get this over with yeah all right Okay. Knock the water bowl off first. Yeah, see, don't try this at home, kids. I'm an idiot. No. Use the catch cup. <laughs> <laughs> Use the lid for the catch cup. You put can't that... knock it off. There's glue no, on there. put the top of the hole. Put that on top of the hole first. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's not brain surgery. No, knock the, no, rip the bowl off. Because you've got to try and get the cork bark out. Take it out while you're holding well, it. Yeah, um, that's a big piece of cork bark to get out there. That's a huge piece of cork bark to get out of there, and it's not going to be done subtly. That's the problem. Um, okay. You've got two options. You can either put the stick in, try and tickle her out into the catch cup. Or leave her in there because I'm scared. <laughs> but I would put cover it over. Yeah, I think. I'm really bossy. <laughs> oh, no, you are. There you go. Uh, yeah, this, so there's, there's an opening just there. That's the. No, I can't do that. I need that. Is she moving? I don't know. I can't see her. Oh, and that's what worries me. Hold on. I'm going to... If I can't see her... I'm going to hold this lid so if she does something, I can just close it. Oh, I need... No, this is not... You just need not. to do it. Oh, she ain't moved. Right. Okay. Yeah, this just this just got to be done. <laughs> this is like nervous. Oh, shit. <laughs> this this is the bit I'm really worried about because if she freaks out, just 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 get it in, just get it in. Uh, no, the bottom is actually sealed off. <laughs> oh crap! Yeah. Seriously? Crap! Yes, seriously, this is not. Okay, put it back in. Uh, put it back in. Right, you're gonna have to tickle it. Yeah, you're gonna have to use a catch cup and tickle her into the cup. That is um, your only option. No, it's not the only option, actually. This is not, not is... safe. Then don't do it. No, it's fine. I need to do this. What? Oh. 
I just need to do this. Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm gonna knock the substrate off the bottom. Oh, so it's not it's not like a sealed piece then? No no no, it's just Oh mate, you're making me nervous now. Making you nervous? <laughs> just concentrate what you're doing. Is there a hole now? Yeah, it's not big enough. Let me see. So it doesn't need to be huge. You're shaking. Yeah, I am. Because I know what this. If you need me to put the phone down and help you, she's evil cow is like. She's at the top. Oh, right. T turn it upside down, put it in upside down, and poke it down the other way. Do you know what I mean? No. Put it in that way. No, because she's just going to go up. Not if there's not a very big hole at the bottom. There's a big enough hole for her to fit through. <sighs> okay. Oh, crap. You all right? This is not fun. Why did I ever buy a pokey? <laughs> because they're fun. Just do it. They're not fun. <laughs> they're not that scary as hell. They are scary as hell. Boy. <laughs> and this one oh, crap. is rather... Hold on, let me get the lid. Oh, man. I've got my fingers blue in it. Hold on. Right. Hold on. I have an idea. Just push it down. See if it should go straight into the tube. God, just be careful. I can't see it. That's the problem I've got. Well, I'm looking at the end. I'm looking at the um, cork bark end. And The hole is over the cork bark entrance. Okay, so if you, you tickle it down, use the other side. Use the side of the brush, it's, it's softer, it's going to freak her out less. I can't see her. That's the problem. <sighs> Not laughing at you, this is nervous laughter. Oh my god, we've got a massive threat pose going on. Oh crap. You're gonna have that. I know I'm gonna have that. Okay, come on. I'm nervous as <laughs> hell. I know. Right now. I know. As long can you see the opening to the burrow underneath yours? Make sure that's over the top. Okay. She's going to threat posture. She is threat posturing straight away now. But hopefully she'll just go down. Why couldn't she lie at the fucking top? <laughs> I can't see her. She's right at the top. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> she is right at the top of this. And she is pissed off. What? This is not good. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. What's going on? She's right at the top. She's actually touching the catch cup lid. Um, right, turn it upside down. Do it the other way around. Oh, Christ. Just turn it upside down. Do it the other way around. Oh, she's in a threat pose again. There she is. Cover that side. She's out. She's coming out. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Can you see it? No. Oh, this is horrible. This is... 
nerve wracking. <laughs> I've got really bad nervous laughter. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh shit. Right. <coughs> Look, take a breath. I can't see her. That's the problem. Neither can I. Get the book. Can you see her in there? Right, she's positioned. I need to just be able to push her down. Look, there she is. Yeah, yeah, you do. I just need to be able to get her down into that cup. So okay, but there's also a hole at the bottom. So have the, hold, hold the lid ready. You're all right. Yeah. Wish me luck. <sighs> oh, <fucking> hell. <laughs> okay, darling. That Ready? is perfectly. Oh God, she's gorgeous. God, I need a drink after this. <laughs> I've had one more of her doing it. She is gorgeous. Okay. Right, lovely girl. She's going. She's moving. She's going. It. She's in. Yay! Get out. Right. And she's in her new court bar. Oh, hello, beautiful. Oh, and she's in. Let's see, it's all the court bar. Court bar's perfect. Yeah, sorry, she's okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you all right? I'm not nervous. <laughs> <laughs> she is stunning. She is pretty, isn't she? Well, despite all the shaking, the pokey is successfully rehoused. Um, that's it for this video. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you do give it a thumbs down, let me know why. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Say goodbye. And goodbye.